Illinois. All right. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Iran's OPEC governor is saying that the rate we're going right now, oil could be up to $100 a barrel. And you can blame not Iran, the president of the United States, to Payne Capital Management President Ryan Payne. Ryan, uh, their argument is by our trying to isolate Iran, um, and ask that the Saudis beat production, the Russians beat production. It's actually having the reverse effect, and, and, and prices are going to go higher. What do you think of that? It's kind of been the perfect storm here, Neil. We have sanctions against Iran. Uh, Venezuela has their problems, so their output has decreased a lot. Furthermore, you're having civil unrest in Libya, not to mention the U.S. is having bottlenecking issues as well for their output. And in Canada, you also had one of their facilities go offline for overheating. So you couldn't pick more things to go wrong on the supply side than it's going on right now. But normally, and, and you can help me with this, Ryan, when you even announce that you're going to have more supply coming to the market, whether it's the Saudis pumping a million or two million barrels more a day or the Russians committed to increasing production to help out, it, it would at least just psychologically have prices going down. Is it just, I know you mentioned some of these other anomalies, but is it, is it just not working that way anymore? Well, I think the fact that it was so modest, the actual output that they're, they're going to increase by, they thought it was going to be a lot more. Maybe the analysts thought it was going to be a lot more. Um, but I think, you know, we also have to think about there is Saudi Arabia wants to take their state-owned uh, oil company public or a part of the public this sometime in the near future. They want higher oil prices. And I think that's one of the unsaid things here. All right. Now, we have already, I, I think, threatened to go after any country that takes Iranian oil. We do not. But to sort of isolate them, not sort of, actually fully isolate them and punish those countries that do business uh, with Iran. That's easier said than done, of course. But where do you see this going? Um, my guess is that if you look at the, the chart of oil prices, it looks like the best ride at Great Adventure. <laughs> They're yeah. very, very volatile. Uh, but I think you could see you know, a lot more volatile in the short term. But the bigger picture is... You know, not only uh, I think oil is going to go higher, but I think it has a lot more to do with demand. You know, we have global growth around the world. Oil demand's going up. In fact, over the next year, we should see another 1.4 million dollars, excuse me, 1.4 million barrels a day that are needed just the next 12 months. So oil demand's going up, which means I have to think prices are definitely going higher. For gasoline, what, the, what would the impact be? Oh, I think oil prices are on, at the pump are going to go higher as well. It's just the nature of the beast. All right, Ryan, for all that wonderful news, thank you very, very much. <laughs> my pleasure, good. Neil. Always good having you, my friend. Ryan Payne, a Payne Capital Manager. He's been a very good read of these markets, so we'll keep an eye on that.